Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my beautiful loves. Let's get started here and let's do Gemini. So we're going to be doing Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Geminis, please, Spirit. <coughs> Excuse me. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Geminis, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Geminis. We have the High Priestess and the Nine of Pentacles that popped out. I'm not going to take them, but I know you guys want to know what they are, so that's what they are. All right, let's see here, Spirit. What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Gemini, please. Okay. So under the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse and the Strength card, Leo Energy. We have the Hermit and the Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, and Virgo energy, okay? All right, my loves, so this could be your side, this could be your person's side, you guys go ahead and take it as it resonates, okay? So Gemini, what I'm seeing here is we have someone coming in with a message, with communication. It's not going to be a ton of messages, it's not going to be like back-to-back -back texts or anything. Um, you know, someone here, the, the page of wands is generally a very passionate message, so maybe someone, you know, saw a picture of you online or something like that, you know, they're coming in to say that, hey, you look good, or hey, what's up, um, or maybe something funny, something passionate, something flirty, but this is going to be from somebody that it, you have not spoken to. The Five of Pentacles in the reverse talks about somebody coming out of the cold, somebody that maybe ghosted you coming back, or somebody maybe that you stopped talking to, stopped talking to, trying to come back. Um, with the Strength card and the Hermit card, I feel like this is somebody that pulled away from you and then maybe realized your worth afterwards. Or Gemini, this could be someone that you pulled away from and then realized their worth afterwards. Because the Ace of Swords does talk about enlightenment, okay? So someone here, that this side is the energy of someone who pulled away and then realized, you know what, I shouldn't have done that. Let me go back in and start talking to them. But the Page of Wands generally isn't an apology, okay? It's maybe this person coming in with a joke or something funny, like something to break the ice. You know what I'm saying? Let's see here. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Geminis? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Geminis. So tell me about the five of pentacles in the reverse for Gemini, please. Five of pentacles in the reverse for Gemini, please. Five of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. We've got the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. This person's coming back with a very confident, sexy attitude, like 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 they never left, or you know what I'm saying? Like like they could just come waltz right back in and not even apologize. A very cocky attitude. Page of Wands, please, for Gemini. We've got the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, this person may come towards you with a very passionate energy, but also a very loving energy. Tell me about, and that's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I don't know if I said that. Tell me about the Strength card. They're going to be super sweet and passionate, okay? So with the Strength card and the Queen of Wands in the reverse, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, I am seeing three people here, Gemini. So I feel like what may have happened here is... This person is withdrawing from a connection that they're currently in. Maybe when you met this person, Gemini, or whoever's on this side, perhaps they were in a relationship. The Queen of Wands in the reverse is an energy of someone who's very possessive, controlling, angry, stubborn. Um, you know, it could also be an energy of someone who's very sexual, someone who gets attention in very negative ways. So it is, you know, and the King and Queen of Wands is a true pair. 
but it could also mean that they were in a relationship at the time. So it could be Gemini that whoever was on this side possibly was in a relationship, started talking to somebody who was very sweet. Um, this person withdrew, and now I feel like perhaps they are leaving that Queen of Wands in the reverse because of the nasty attitude. Tell me about the Hermit card. Tell me about the Hermit card. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy. I feel that this person um, is perhaps leaving a relationship and they are down on their luck. Like this person may not have a place to live. They may have lost finances. They're not independent. Like they've lost their independence. It could be that someone, whoever's on this side, is going towards this person or coming back to communicate. Because again, we've got the Ace of Wands under the deck. This could be a representation of someone needing a place to live or someone coming in for communication after a long time of not speaking. This is someone I feel that is is leaving a relationship and is coming back towards somebody okay and I feel like I feel like they're doing this and they've lost like they've lost they got kicked out of their house or something like that happened let's see here let's let's see what's going on on this side spirit tell me about Gemini please tell me about Gemini please tell me about Gemini please Tell me about Gemini, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, tell me about Gemini, please. Tell me about Gemini, please. Okay. So under the deck here, we've got the Four of Swords. So we've got the Nine of Wands. We have the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. We've got the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. And we have the Eight of Cups. So, Gemini, the person on this side, I feel like they don't want to hear it. <laughs> they don't want to hear it. Uh, someone here is in the process of recovery. They're in the process of healing. We've got the Six of Swords under the deck. Someone here is trying to move on and get away. The High Priestess and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like someone's intuition is telling them to remain single. Virgo energy, Cancer Piscean energy, to not get involved. So Gemini, I don't know where you are here, but the Nine of Wands is a very defensive stance. It's also a, an energy of someone who's had enough one wand away of just being completely overwhelmed by the situation. Um, I feel like with the Page of Swords and the Eight of Cups, someone here is brutally aware of why the connection of why someone walked away. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I feel like the person on this side walked away from this person to go pursue the connection with the Queen of Wands in the reverse. But the Queen of Wands in the reverse, you know, very nasty attitude. So I feel like the Queen of Wands in the reverse may maybe kicked the King of Wands out, or perhaps the King of Wands just ended up leaving and withdrawing, but now the King of Wands is lacking and not no dependence. Either they lost money, they lost their job, they lost their place to live, and I feel like they're going back to this person here. They're going back to this person here who's still trying to heal from being coasted or from not being chosen. And this person here knows why the connection came apart. So they don't really, it doesn't really look to me like they want to deal with it. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Nine of Wands, please. We've got the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. So there's the Apology. Tell me about the Knight of Cups, please. We have someone here who was pursuing a connection with a very in a very romantic way and then just stopped with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So this person was pursuing this person here, and the Knight of Cups is a very romantic energy, lovey-dovey, sweet, romantical energy, and then it just stopped. It just fell flat on its face. Page of Swords, please. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Someone here got ghosted, I think. And the Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like someone was initially confused, but maybe after, you know, because the Page of Swords talks about finding out information, digging online. Someone here maybe found out via social media or through friends or through people that this person here was in a relationship. Tell me about the Eight of Cups, please. The Eight of Cups, please. And the Eight of Swords. I feel like the person on this side had a feeling 
had a feeling that something was going on behind their back. I feel like there may have been jealousy or fighting. Um, you know, someone here was asking, are you lying to me? Is there someone else? I feel like there's someone else. I feel like something's not right. And then boom, out of nowhere, someone here decides to return back to their the Queen of Wands and reconcile, or someone here feels like it's in their best interest to move towards the third party. And look, see, the Hermit, they withdrew and ghosted. Okay, look at this. We've got the Five of Pentacles here in the reverse, and here's your Five of Pentacles, and we've got the Hermit right here, and here's your Hermit. You see what I'm saying, guys? So someone here decided to um, go back. Someone here decided to go back, and I feel that it didn't work out. So someone here ghosted they ghosted, they went back and reconciled with their person, it didn't work out, they got kicked out, they got whatever, I don't know, but they're coming towards this person now, broke, and, and you know what I'm saying, so I, it, it would appear to me that this person realized the truth, <coughs> and kind of also knew all along, and kind of knew all along, so the challenge here with the three of wands is, and the ace of cups, give me one more for the challenge, please, give me one more for the challenge, please and the Ten of Cups. I feel like someone here is yearning for a new beginning. Someone here is yearning for a Ten of Cups. They're yearning for a deep connection. Um, not sure if it's this person, not sure if it's this person, but the challenge here is that somebody wants to start a new life. Someone here wants real love. They want real commitment, okay? Tell me about the outcome, please. We've got the Moon card in the reverse, Cancer Piscean Energy. And we've got the star card, Aquarian energy, and the world card. So I feel here, yeah, see, you guys have, ooh. All right, so Gemini, you've got someone rushing in, could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Taurus. You have someone rushing in to, for, for commitment. This person's coming towards you. So Gemini, if you're on this side, if you're the person that got hurt, or if you're the person, uh, well, Whoever it is, whoever got hurt here, whether it's you or you hurting somebody, somebody is rushing in for real commitment. Marriage, bringing things to a higher level of commitment. Nine of Cups, the Emperor, and the Lover's Card, Aries, Taurus, Energy, Gemini, Energy. Someone is coming in to commit. Someone feels the love here. They feel that strong soul tie. They want to give wish fulfillment. Um, I feel like someone's coming back, but they're coming back because they want the real thing. They want the real thing. So I feel like what's happening here, guys, is this person, this Queen of Cups energy, when this person started talking to this person, it was a very loving energy. I mean, the Queen of Wands in the reverse to the King, to the Queen of Cups, excuse me, two very different energies, very different energies. So this King of Wands, and guys, gender doesn't matter in tarot, okay? This King of Wands was dealing with you know, a crazy person here. This King of Wands was dealing with someone that was just, you know, uh, off their rocker. Like, this person was jealous, crazy, competitive, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, you know, the Queen of Wands in the reverse is just, anything can happen, you know? And with the Queen of Cups, that is a loving, caring, healing, nurturing energy. And I think this King of Wands just wants this Queen of Cups and this happily ever after, okay? And, and that's what it looks like it's going to be here. So let's see. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Geminis, please. We've got door to spirit. We have patience. And we have caring connection. So I feel like this is a divine, look, an angel of love under the deck. So Gemini, I feel like this is a divinely guided connection. I feel like the divine had to get involved. Patience was required. Waiting on divine timing was required. But there's a very strong soul tie between you and this person. We've got intuition and manifestation. We have milestone. And we have teacher. So I feel here that, and the vast universe. So I feel here that maybe karmic cycles had to be shut out or a cycle had to be shut out. Someone here had to learn a lesson. Someone here was manifesting. That three of wands energy can speak on manifestation because you're yearning for that ship to come in. You know what you want and you're waiting for it to come in, right, Gemini? So I feel like someone here wanted a new love. They wanted this 10 of cups. They wanted happily ever after. They wanted all that love, that abundance, that joy 
joy and I feel like you know their intuition is telling them that this this person right here this Queen of Cups energy is that milestone it is that blessing it is the answer to that manifestation but they had to learn their lesson and cut out that Queen of Wands energy okay um, you know the cycle had to close out and it may have gotten worse before it got better okay it may have gotten worse before it got better so this breakup needed to happen so this king of wands could learn their lesson to go back to the queen of cups energy tell me about gemini getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so you see here there's three people in that picture gemini so i feel like this king of wands was trying to get away from the queen of wands started talking to the queen of cups energy someone very sweet kind caring loving and then dipped away from the queen of cups to pursue the queen of wands again to try to make it work it didn't work and now they're going back to the queen of cups tell me about gemini please yeah separation so we've got three people here we've got three people here and we've got one of them one situation is going to be separated it's coming apart so that this person can retreat and move towards a higher level of commitment we've got it's time to disconnect from the world your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so guys stay optimistic wedding here i feel like we have happily ever after coming here but the problem is is that it's going to get worse before it gets better there's there's lessons that lead, need to be learned cycles that need to be shut out before this reaches completion okay but otherwise we have a happily ever after ending here okay all right guys i love you and i will see you soon bye